What is a debt, Mr. Ahome? It is something that you have actually gotten from somebody else. And that process of getting from somebody else is what we call borrowing. There is an expectation that you have to pay back. But you do not only pay back what you borrowed. It has a price for holding it. And that price is what we call interest. And that money we borrowed, we call it the principal. This word, a debt, often evokes the negative feelings. And sometimes is associated with poor financial decisions. However, debt is not necessarily a bad thing. While we would wish we have the money to make all the big purchases or invest without going into debt, the reality is that this is not always possible. In some cases, it is therefore financially smart to take a loan. And the truth is that almost everyone will have a loan at one point or the other in their life. How do you tell if the loan is the best move to make? How do you tell if the cost of interest is worth the benefit? We sometimes borrow to invest in real estate. We borrow, we invest in business. That's very common. There are many times when we borrow for buying household items. We also borrow for parties. It could be a graduation party and we don't have the money and the child has graduated. We also borrow to pay bills. It could be school fees. This is very, very common. There are actually very, very many things that we borrow to do. Which ones are the good debts and which are the bad debts? Because we need to go through those ones. If we can be able to allocate those and say this is a good one, this is a bad one. We will have a clear understanding which are the good ones mm -hmm. and which are the bad ones. And let's start with the one for business. Yeah. Most business owners, whether they are big business or small business, you might take a loan to start a business or grow a business. Mm -hmm. Your loan can help you to increase your cash flow yes. because you expanded your business. Mm. When you're applying for a business loan, if you're applying from the bank, remember they also want to see a business plan. Mm. So that's a good thing. It actually gets you to re-examine your business. Yes, so you can apply. actually see the many mm. good things it is able to do for you. Mm. So if you look at a business loan, I think we can ideally agree that's a good debt. It is a good debt. It's a good debt. Yes. Now, if you're looking at investments, you're buying a house, mm -hmm. you're buying land, you're buying a plot, those ones generally appreciate. A few times mm. they may be depreciate. Mm. And people say, how can land depreciate? And it would. If you bought um, a plot somewhere and your neighbor actually set up a quarry, then you can be certain your value will come down. Because mm. really, who else is going to buy you as and they cannot be able to do a lot on it? If you bought a property and maybe somebody started a dumping ground near where you are, your value yeah. will come down. But generally, they go up. So when you're looking at those, whether we are borrowing from the bank or the circle or the chama, basically those ones, the verdict is very simple. Mm -hmm. Those are good debts. They are good so debts. I think we have clarity. Let's look at home ownership and look at mortgage. People fear the mortgage. A mortgage is simple. It's a home loan. you actually borrowing from somebody. You buy a house and we use that house as security for the loan. That's what a mortgage is. Owning a home is one of the best financial decisions uh, that you can have. Why is that so? If you left your parents' house mm. say age 25 mm. and God grants you life you live to 100 and beyond. Oh, yeah. You know, those will be 75 years of paying rent if you don't have a house of your own. Home loan is what is called a neutral debt. Why is it okay. neutral? Because it doesn't bring money to you. It doesn't pay you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. But it prevents your money from going away. Every time you pay, mm -hmm. you actually are paying away the interest, but the balance you're building your asset, which is going to grow in value. Remember, one day you can decide to sell this house. The home loan is a good debt, mm. but it can actually turn out to be a bad debt. If you started by taking up a big loan, instead of starting with a starter home, you start with a dream house. A dream house. home, yeah. Now, your repayment will be so heavy that you know for many of your productive years, all you will be doing is paying for the home. Paying the, yeah. So eventually, one day when you retire and you're old, the home might be the only asset you have. Remember we said it doesn't give you money. Now, how do you sustain your life? It can be a good debt, but can also be a bad debt. So it's a question of how much of your resources mm. are you putting in into this debt? I think we have agreed on the investment loan. That's a good debt. We have agreed on the business loan. That's a good debt. We have agreed on the housing le uh, loan. It depends. Um, if you start with the huge loan that uh, you struggle to pay, that becomes a, a bad debt. But ideally, let's deal with the car because the car is the other one that is very controversial when people are talking about the car loans. <laughs> and you know, sometimes we are tired of the matatu from work and to work. And sometimes we are considering a car loan. And we hear people have a lot of opinion. Uh, people will tell you it's a bad 
bad debt. Others will tell you it's a good debt. But then we have to actually say to ourselves, okay, mm. is it going to help you earn more? And if you think about people like salespeople, sure, they can't help them. Yes. They can move, they can move many from places one place to the other. Quicker, yeah. From one place mm. to the other. If you think about somebody who's self-employed, a car will help them. They'll yeah. be moving from one place to the other. Mm. If you are senior staff in an organization, mm. I think uh, it might be difficult to try and explain you got um, late for a meeting <laughs> because, because the mother who was caught by the police. <laughs> It might stand in your way. Yeah, okay? yeah. But there are many times when we buy the car, we live very close where we work, mm. but we buy the car and we are virtually parking it all the time. Yeah. We could even walk to work. To work. Mm. Or it may not even be that car for going to work. We have bought this big 4x4 for the weekend. For the weekend. Yeah, that becomes a bad yeah. debt. I think <laughs> we can clearly see yeah. which one is a bad debt. Yeah. Because we need to appreciate a car depreciates in value. Mm -hmm. When you bring it out from the sales yard you can never sell it for what you the bought same it. if you feel a car is necessary but you don't have the money in fact you don't even have to buy a new one you can buy a second hand yes. the verdict is depends on the purpose why are you buying the car we are only going to call it a good debt if it is going to help us to have more money now, when you're buying household items the furniture the fridge the cooker the challenge here most of this we even buy on higher purchase mm -hmm. and the interest rates we pay if you actually start to compute how much you're paying it is unbelievable now largely those are bad debts paying for life events whether we're looking at medical bills and that should be handled by insurance mm -hmm. or for the contingency fund that's a bad debt mm -hmm. what about personal items my phone uh, unless I'm using it for work. If it is a working tool, okay. it's okay. Now you qualify it. Okay. Yes. Clothing? Yes and no. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Let me give an no. example. <laughs> if I am taking a loan or yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm buying because I need to go somewhere, yeah. uh, in this case, maybe it's even a job interview, which could grant me a job, yes. then I would okay. go for it. You might yes. be a model. Oh, yes. That's the kind of work okay. you do. So it you might actually you. be on the TV. Oh, yes. yes. You already? Uh, I think again, you'll fall in the same uh, category yeah. as clothing. Yeah. Yeah. It, okay. Yeah. And then shoes. Mm. And we have something we call a rule of the thumb. This is where we define the good debts and the bad debts. It is going to be a good debt if it accrues financial benefits that will make it better for you in the future. Say, for example, you have bought an asset that's going to appreciate in value. You have created potential for you to earn more money in the future. But it is a bad debt if wherever you have put that money, it is not creating any potential for the future and it is not growing. Like when you buy a depreciating asset, it reduces in value. If you get into consumption, it doesn't help. Good debts will give you money. Bad debts will take away money from you. Now we know which are the bad ones, which are the good, the good ones. ones. So what yeah. is the message? Mm -hmm. Keep away from the bad ones. When you hear people say debt-free living, what they are saying is, I have no bad debts. Yeah. Always go into the good ones. Mm. Look for ways of getting into the good ones. Mm. Save more in the circle, borrow more. Mm -hmm. Save more in the chama, borrow more. Okay. Okay? Mm. Be a good friend of your bank manager, borrow more. Because we need good debt. You cannot create wealth on your own money. Yeah. You need other people's money to create wealth. Yeah. So when you're asking us uh, what we do at the academy, I think you have an idea. We help people to be able to know how to deal with this and then to prepare. So if you want to join the academy, we are the Personal Finance Academy Kenya. We have a website if you want to get to know more about us, bfa.co.ke. 